In my last video, I looked at how much power some common Arduino boards consume, and then how long we'd be able to power them using some 18650 batteries. We found that we could power a 33 volt Arduino Pro Mini using a single 37 volt lithium-ion battery for 117 days in low power mode. In this video, we're going to be looking at a couple more things that can be done to make the Arduino Pro Mini even more power efficient, and see how long we can get it to last. I'll be putting the results into this table. I've included two battery capacities, one for the 4200mAh claimed on the test battery, and one for a more commonly available 3500mAh battery. The table then calculates the hours, days and years of runtime for each modification and each battery. Let's start with the standard board with no low power mode and no modifications to use as a baseline. So with no modifications, a 3.3V Arduino Pro Mini uses around 54 milliamps when powered by a 3.7V battery, meaning that it could run for around a month on either battery. Next let's try putting the Arduino into a low power sleep mode between flashing the LED. So this mode has decreased the current draw to around 1.5 milliamps, which means that the Arduino will last almost 4 months on the 4200 mAh battery and a little over 3 months on the 3500 mAh battery. Now let's try some modifications to the board to conserve more power. The first and probably most obvious thing to do is to get rid of the onboard power LED. These small LEDs don't draw much, but when we're trying to power the board for a month using a single battery, then even small consumption items like these become significant. It's also not particularly useful to have an onboard power LED if the board is going to be in a housing or box. Because it's a surface mounted component and there are components alongside it, the easiest way to disable it is to break it off the board using some pliers or some wire cutters. You could also cut through one of the supply traces on the PCB. Now let's see what improvement we've made. So the supply current is reduced from 1.5 milliamps to 0.058 milliamps or 58 microamps, which is 25 times less power. So we've gotten an extra 2,900 days of runtime by removing the LED. The Arduino should now last for 8 years on a single charge of the 4,200 milliamp hour battery and 7 years on the 3,500 milliamp hour battery. Now obviously in practice this will be less because the Arduino will also be doing more complicated processing between sleep cycles, not just flashing an LED. But depending on how often it wakes up, this is what's possible. You'll also need to consider that an 18650 battery has a charge life of around one year, meaning that it slowly loses charge over about a year to a year and a half. So your battery is actually losing charge faster than the Arduino is able to use the power. If you're going to be building really long-term projects, then you'll probably want to use a non-rechargeable battery, as these typically have a longer shelf life. Non-rechargeable lithium batteries generally have a shelf life of around 10 to 12 years. For most projects, 8 years is more than enough, and your components will likely pack up before the battery is empty. But why stop there? Let's see if there's any other way we can further improve the battery life. The next thing I'm going to do is remove the voltage regulator. The 3.3V regulators typically used on these boards are not very efficient at very low currents. You usually only get around 10-20% to efficiency at low current. Replacing the regulator with a linear regulator, such as an NCP1700, will dramatically improve the battery life of the Arduino as well. But this is a bit more complicated to do. The other option is to remove the voltage regulator altogether. The Atmega chip can actually support input voltage levels between 2.7V and 5.5V. However, the output voltage on the I.O. pins will vary according to the input voltage as well. This may not be a problem if your I.O. devices can handle the fluctuating voltages. We're going to try this method out and see if the Arduino will still run and flash the onboard LED while using less power during sleep mode.
With a multimeter in milliamps, it doesn't even register the current draw. But the LED is flashing, so the Arduino is still working. Let's try switching it to microamps. With a voltage regulator removed, our board is now drawing 5 microamps in sleep mode. You'll notice a brief spark in the current reading when the LED flashes, as the Arduino wakes up and supplies power to the LED. At 5 microamps, we're now up to 35,000 days on a single 4,200 mAh 18650 battery, then almost 30,000 days on the 3,500 mAh battery. This is now pretty close to what the Atmega datasheet claims for power down sleep mode so it's unlikely that we'll be able to reduce it much further. So we now have an Arduino which will theoretically run for 96 years on a single 18650 battery. Let me know in the comments section what low power projects you've built using an Arduino. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.